Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you doing out there tonight? Hey, thank you. Hey, hey. We are out here live at the place you want to be, uh, and we're discussing what matters. I'm your host, John Pointer. Others have come before us. Others will come after us, but this is the last talk show. Yeah. Now, to my right, I have two of the most distinguished guests hailing from the City of Roses, Pasadena, California. I want you to give the biggest clap you can for two big guys, Sean and JP. Clap it up. Clap it up. Now, these two young men, uh, we go way back like Cadillac seats. <laughs> and I want them to give a brief introduction on themselves. Let's begin with uh, JP. JP, give us a brief <coughs> intro. Uh, yeah, well, my name's JP, you feel me? City of Pasadena, you feel me? Probably at your mama's house if I'm out of your son's, you feel me? Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. That boy's going on. All right, clap it up for him. I love it. Uh, Sean, brief bio. What you got for us? It ain't none of your business. <laughs> That's a great way to start the show. All right, <laughs> let's, uh, let's presume. Let's go right into it. So on the show, we are discussing culture in its raw form. It's broken into different categories. We have love talks and cultural analysis and the efficacy of pickup lines. So we're gonna throw you right in the loop and you're gonna see and hear and discuss what we wanna discuss. Let's get right into it. Uh, we're gonna start with cultural analysis, which is when we analyze culture in its raw form, in the form of tweets, Facebook posts, and a variety uh, of other gamuts of society. Let's begin. Uh, all these Valentine packages are just funny. They would be like, for her, a box of chocolate, Seven inch cake, life size teddy, 45 inch weave, jewelry set, and a flower. For him, for him, a card, a pair of socks, and a vest. As per the guy is homeless or something. Now, have you guys seen these Valentine's Day packages? I can't say I have. Can't say. No. Never seen them, but whoever's doing that, they're tricks, huh? <laughs> I don't get it much either, but I would agree with the tweet, and if you were to, in your philosophical imagination, imagine the fact where ladies are getting blessed with cakes and cookies and flowers and teddy bears, and the brothers are getting a vest, a tie, and, and a car? Do we brothers want that on Valentine's Day? Well, from what I remember last year, I think I got my ass beat. Can I ask by who? Oof. She was at least 6'3", 200. Oh, yeah. Some would say she was my equal. Oh, oh that's good. Uh, JP, uh, would you like that for Valentine's Day? Would you like a card, a vest, and um, socks? No, unless she wants me to cheat. <laughs> oh, that boy, oh, that boy. You better not hook JP up with that man. That's deep. That's deep. <laughs> let's, go, let's go to our next uh, analysis of culture. I can't date someone with poor communication skills. No, that's deep. Sean, and you shook your head. Can you date someone with poor communication skills? Can't be done, man. Why not? It can't Why because not? it's just it's the most important part of a relationship. If you can't communicate, ain't nothing getting done. There's nothing getting done. You gotta talk about it. You gotta, you gotta talk, talk about, about it. JP, clap it up. Let's say let's say I like my ribs. After I like my ribs, I like my tummy rub. And if I can't get that across, and you can't communicate that either, you don't want to do it, or you're not into it, the door. And that's, and that's the way that that's the bottom line in the Sean household. Now, JP, your thoughts? He just summed it up. You know, it's kind As of a big man. Issue. As a big man. He, he understands where I'm coming yeah. from. Yeah. I gotta have my ribs and my bed. I gotta have my ribs and that's what I be. We're discussing dating someone with poor communication skills, not eat? ribs and chicken. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You didn't eat before this, huh? Nah, that must oh, be my right. stomach. Not eat before the. Can you date someone with poor communication skills? Yeah, he can't can, communicate I mean, him damn self. He'll be all right. Uh, oh no, Jay, <laughs> what do you think, Jay? <laughs> I mean, it really doesn't matter to me as long as you know what I want. What do you want? Yeah, what do I want? You feel me? If I want warm milk and cookies, you feel me? If I told you the first time, you feel me? You should. Have, be honest with you, I don't know. Don't say shit to me. I don't know. <laughs> I love you. I don't know if I'm say but I love you. Look, man, I'm a pretty complex, man. I'm a big guy. I'm like a, 
I'm like a seven layer lasagna. Yeah. There are many layers. That's a lot of layers. And I can't, I can't handle a girl who's just that top crust. Because mm -hmm. that top crust sometimes just gets peeled off. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's true. And, and the mm -hmm. words of Ice Cube, you've got to go deep. So deep, it don't hurt to sleep. <laughs> Man, I do love this show. Yeah, Let's go to that. our next analysis of culture. Stop being a dumb bleep. That's deep. Now, now, do you guys know any dumb bleeps? A uh, bleep could mean many things. A bleep could mean many things. Are we allowed to say these things on air? Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Um, right. Stupid bitch. Uh, a a dumb chicken. Uh, yeah. Boo boo head. Uh, Ooh. Dumb. Uh, dumb. Could uh, be a dumb dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a, a Michael. You could be a dumb. Michael. Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special. Uh, yeah, special. A John, if you know him. But... Yeah. So, what makes a person a dumb female? Dumb? Bleep. A dumb bleep. Oh, a dumb bleep. Um, what makes a person that? Well, many things, man. Uh, mother <laughs> don't put the lid of the Tupperware on in the fridge. You're spoiling the food. Yeah. Mother yeah. Mother don't know how to park. Mm. Or use their turn signals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, just who just don't follow instructions, bro. Do this, do that, and they do the opposite. Yep, yep. Jay, Jay, what makes a dumb bleep? Washing my drawers and soap, dishwasher soap instead of cod. This shit, you feel me? Now, on the contrary, dish soap is universal. That shit be, you know, clean oil off the dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You an itch, but you get the job done. Right, but still, that person would be a dumb bleep in your eyes. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a dumb that's fine with me. <laughs> Let's go to the next category of our show, which I always love talking about, because when the word love is presented to people, uh, yeah, yeah. most people view it as complex. You know, it's not something that can be clearly defined by a lot of people. So I want to get your viewpoint, your opinion, your philosophical dissertation on the topic of love. Let's head right in. Uh, is it really better to have loved than to have lost than to never have loved at all. Yeah, I can work with that. You can work with that? Well, yeah. it sounds about good. So you're gonna go with yes. Yes. It is better yes. to have loved. It is better to have loved no. than to have loved. Than lost. Than have never loved at all. JP, you'll agree? Same thing, same thing. Now, why would you guys say that? Love is a complex and special thing. Yeah. It's spiritual. 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 Sometimes you think you have it, you didn't even have it from the start. You didn't have it from the start. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I thought I loved Mike. Yeah. Not really. But yeah. I love ribs. Back, back yeah, to the ribs. ribs. Back to the ribs. Fried barbecue chicken. Yeah, hot sauce. Hot sauce. You gotta have hot sauce. Yeah. If you don't have hot sauce, is it for real? If it ain't hot, it ain't food. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's go to our second love talk since it went from love to fried chicken. I'm telling you, man, the How? ribs be getting me. Hell yeah, what? How can you mend a broken heart? Ribs. Ribs. <laughs> Burritos. Burrito. So if you know what you could do, you could take the rib meat off, stuff that burrito. Oh, and that way. Now you guys yeah. are collaborators. And that's what we need in the 21st century. We need people that'll come together, no matter their differences, and be able to put rib meat in a burrito. And clap that up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now now I'm gonna give you guys a poor example and I wanna see if we can apply this to something besides ribs. If, if you and your girl dating five years, five years, she cheats on you, your heart is broken. You really like this girl and she breaks your heart. How can she mend your broken heart? Is there any way she can mend your broken heart besides ribs or rib meat in a burrito? Chicken. Mm, nah, I take the rib over the chicken. The rib over the chicken. Yeah. But it, that's not enough to but mend a broken enough. heart. No, right, so is there a way to mend a broken heart? Uh, if you a sucker, mother. But that ain't me. And what about, what about if you're not a sucker mother? No, you can't relate. You can't relate. Can't relate. Okay, JP, what, what do you have on your topic? Same thing. He a real one. They already know. He a real one. He already know. Okay, so can your heart be mended once it's broken? Who said I have one to begin with? Oh, we're talking. We're with Broke this. I'm the cooler at the picnic. Jeez. Let's go to our next category. Uh, dope rhymes. This category of our show consists of uh, you harnessing your inner Nipsey, your inner Tupac, your inner Biggie Biggs, for the case of you two. Um, now, you're going to use, this guy. Oh, sorry. You're going to use uh, sentences that end with a certain word. 
And each last word of each sentence must rhyme. Those that cannot complete a sentence that's grammatically correct is booted off our show. Are you guys ready? So I'm going to start it off, and you guys have to use a full sentence and keep the ball rolling. It doesn't have to be a clear and concise story. You're starting the sentence. I'm going to start this. Let's do it. So the word we're going to use for tonight's show is tub. I'll begin. I was using soap sitting in my bath tub. After I eat them ribs, I like to have a belly rub. If my belly's not rubbed, then I want to sub. And if I don't get a get sub, it off the show, I've had enough. Had enough. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> had enough. <laughs> My turn. And if the sub don't work, I'm going to the club. Are we still going? We're still going. Okay, whoever, well. whoever can. <clears throat> Six foot three, fucking <laughs> dumb. I wonder who he's talking about. JP? A woman that beat me up last year. Oh, oh shit. <clears throat> I'll be in a club throwing dabs to a naked b With two nubs. Two nubs. I don't uh, support this, but these young men use porn hub. <laughs> Sorry, geez. I didn't mean to go with that. I really did. I don't. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Mm-hmm. That was pretty nice. Sean, can you can you follow? Oh, I might be fat now, but I used to be buff. <laughs> Skinny people are buff, but always want to be tough. You guys totally used buff and rough for tub. <laughs> so they're both disqualified. Wanting to Pete wins the rap battle, but they are collaborators and communicators at heart. Thank you so much for joining us on tonight's show. As we do for every show, we must end out with a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Blood so. <laughs> Blood so. <laughs> Blood so what? Thank you so much for joining us on tonight's show, ladies and gentlemen. Follow, subscribe, comment, like, do what you must do to get to the level of the next talk show. Thank you so much for joining us. That's all. Don't, do not stop recording. This is for the, for the rundown. Man, your hands sweaty, boy. Don't get your mouth.